current of electricity will work only when the circuit is completed. In monopolar cautery, there is only one pole. So the completion of the circuit, we need the another pole. The another pole is created by putting the pad here. The current will come from this pole of the instrument, will travel into the body to reach up to the pad and then it will go back to the machine. So in monopolar cautery, the current will travel in the body. While on the other hand, in the bipolar cautery, there are two poles. From one pole, the current will go and the, from the another pole, it will come back. So the current will remain only up to the point of application. It will not travel. So wherever you need the cauterization in the important structures like brain or intestine, you have to apply the bipolar cautery. From this concept, now you can understand that in monopolar TRP, fluid is important because the current has to pass through that fluid to complete the circuit. Normal saline does not allow this passage of the current, so normal saline cannot be used in monopolar TRP. The other fluids can be used like glycine and water. On the other hand, in bipolar TRP, you can understand that fluid is not required to complete the circuit. So every fluid can be used in bipolar TRP. But the normal saline is the best because normal saline is isotonic. So there will not be any absorption of normal saline and no risk of dilutional hyponatremia. In emergency surgery of extradural hematoma, to control bleeding, which cautery will be used? Monopolar, bipolar, both or packing? Bipolar will be answer because you need the precise cauterization in the brain. Second question is, during laparoscopic cholecystectomy, bleeding started from the carotid triangle. What you will use to control the bleeding? Here also, the bleeding from the carotid triangle, here CBD is there. You need precise uh, cauterization. So, the answer will be bipolar cautery. Ligation is used basically in the open surgery and Pringle maneuver is used basically in the later stages of bleeding where you will not be able to control the bleeding from the routine procedures. Fluid used in TRP, the most important concept is monopolar cautery does not work in normal line. So the answer of question 1 is E. In bipolar TRP which fluid can be used? In bipolar TRP it does not matter which fluid you are using it. So the answer will be D. If you are asking the best fluid in bipolar TRP, then the answer will be B because normal saline is isotonic. So there will not be any absorption of normal saline and there will not be any risk of dilutional hyponatremia.